Botswana, the capital city of South Africa. Botswana yeah. is the capital city of South Africa the same way Canada is the home of Carling Black Label. <laughs> Technically it is, but it's not. Nobody in Canada knows what a Zamalek is. <laughs> Johannesburg is the capital city of South Africa. Okay. Thank you. Oh, guys, settle down. That beer is as South African as Umbuti at this point. <laughs> Okay, Tswane is facing a long-running crisis. It has literally been overrun by clowns. That is true. Clowns have conquered the city of Tswane by taking over the political system and turning the city into a circus. Tswane lost another mayor on Friday after the DA, Salias Brink, was ousted in a motion of no confidence. Tswane has now had six mayors in eight years and is about to get its seventh, which is mad and bad for the city and its residents. Political instability causes failing service delivery and Tswane knows all about that. And I feel really bad for the city of Tswane because they deserve better than the clown shows they've been subjected to from the mayor's office for a long time. And it's not about one party being to blame. All the parties with seats in Tswane have created bad coalitions and put nonsense clowns in power. The whole political class is a circus. So let's run through some of Tswane Mayor Circus's biggest attractions over the years. <laughs> you know, that works. And we start with the ANC tribute band, more commonly known as COPE, the Congress of the People. <laughs> Although, shame, the Congress of the People, I don't even know if they have enough supporters to call themselves the people anymore. They're more of a WhatsApp group than a movement. <laughs> Cope had one seat in the city of Tuane, and yet surprisingly, from their one seat, they got a mayor because the ANC and EFF wanted to rule together by controlling a puppet mayor from a tiny party that they could control. So... Cope got a mayor, Morunwa Makorela, seen here slowly releasing a fart at work so nobody will notice. <laughs> that is the face. And then we learned that Mayor Mac was insolvent. Now, you can't even be a councillor if you're insolvent in Swane, let alone mayor. So Mayor Mac was removed as mayor. But then he was reinstated a few days later because he produced a rehabilitation certificate. Now, the way to prove that you are no longer insolvent is to have a court issue you a rehabilitation certificate. And Mayor Mac circulated a rehabilitation certificate from the Pretoria High Court to prove that he was no longer insolvent. And then the Pretoria High Court released a statement essentially saying, liar, liar, pants on fire, hang your brookies on the wire. <laughs> Their exact words were, the document purporting to be an order issued by this court was never issued in this court. Because, yeah, Mayor Mac had lied and faked the rehabilitation certificate... <laughs> And obviously the court he put it on his he put on his fake rehab certificate instantly found out and called him out about it. Now I know you're thinking, Dan, he was obviously immediately gonna be found out. How could he have been that stupid? And to that I say, he's a South African politician, guys. <laughs> Basically a job requirement. Makwarela lost the mayorship again and got arrested because obviously faking a court-issued certificate is fraud. And then Cope was like, no, cool, 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 we have a backup. And they tried to install a new mayor in Makwarela's place, but their second candidate was found to have two IDs, a criminal record, and may have committed identity fraud when he was registering with the IEC. That's both of their options. COPE should stand for criminals of the people at this point. <laughs> Although, at the rate they're losing members, they'll just soon be known as Congress of the Person. Uh. It's just Monsieur Lakota, people. <laughs> By the way, Marunua Makarela was still facing jail time this year for fraud when he died? He, he, he's, he's passed. South Africa is a movie, but it's not just COPE. Before Marunua Makarela in Tswane, the DA's Randall Williams was mayor. But he resigned after he was allegedly involved in handpicking the winner of a tender for a 26 billion rand contract with the city. Hashtag know your DA. <laughs> And after, oh, DA fans in the house tonight? Uh, and after Makorela, Tswane got Salir's Brink, the man who just lost his job. Now, <laughs> something you need to know about Brink, before he was mayor, Brink headed up the DA caucus in Tswane. You know how voting is a secret so that people can vote without pressure or fear of repercussions for who they voted for, right? Mm. The DA in Tswane was having some problems because in a number of votes, some of their members had been voting with the opposition against the DA's position. But it was obviously in secret. The DA couldn't tell which of their members were doing this because voting is a secret as it's supposed to be. So the DA in Tswane came up with a <coughs> cunning plan, the kind of stroke of genius that had never been thought of before. 
because it was unbelievably stupid. There was a vote coming up on who would be the new speaker in Tswane, which is an incredibly uh, important, powerful position. The DA had 69 votes because they're always keeping it sexy. Uh, they're down for you if you're down for them, etc. You know what I mean? And the DA gave each of its 69 members a number from 1 to 69 and told each member to write their number on the ballot when they vote so that the DA could check that everyone had voted the way they were supposed to and all the DA members did that. And when the results came out, guess what happened? The DA side lost because they spoiled all their own votes. Wow. <laughs> because obviously, if you put your number on a vote, they can tell who voted! Yes. <laughs> Which breaks the secrecy of the vote. So the votes were thrown out, they threw away their own votes. <laughs> These people are paid to gain political power and they threw it away. <laughs> and their caucus leader who defended this insane position, Siliers Brink, who then became the mayor of Tswane. He literally fell upwards into the mayorship of Tswane. And I know I was joking about the circus, but guys, that's literally how clowns get promoted. <laughs> You make the most laughable mess, you get a better job. It's literally a clown show. And now Salir's Brink has been deposed, Tswane looks like it's getting a new mayor, this time not from the DA. Everyone is slinging insults, blaming each other for Tswane's woes, but the truth is, all of these parties and these unstable coalitions in Tswane are responsible for the Tswane mayor circus. And frankly, the city just deserves better politicians across all the parties. And I really hope that they get one soon. Unfortunately though, from what we're hearing, it's not looking good, bruv. No way. One, settle down. <laughs> One major reason why Brink is out is that Herman Mashaba's Action SA broke away from the ruling coalition with the ANC. And now Action SA is trying to get a mayor position in a potential coalition with the ANC, which I'll remind you is the same party that Action SA leader Herman Mashaba said he wouldn't work with for 300 years. I don't, you know, seven years is dog years, maybe 300 years is like a week in uh, Tuane. But now, Action SA is worried that the ANC will put forward one of their own to be mayor. And if that happens, Action SA has said they won't support the ANC or join the coalition, which means any potential new ANC mayor would have to rule in a minority government. And as we know, minority governments really suck. The rulers don't have the numbers to quickly and easily pass votes, meaning they have to go begging and pleading and negotiating to other parties who try to get the best deals for themselves. So everything takes time, it's complicated, it often doesn't happen, and that's really not what Twine needs right now. Twine needs rapid, decisive, effective governance to get the city back on its feet. And yet, there don't seem to be any other options. Word on the street is that the DA and the ANC have been talking, but the DA is insisting that Salir's Brink be re-elected as mayor again a week after he just lost the mayorship. And it's really hard to see that happening. For the sake of Twine, this clown show needs to end. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>